Hey everybody, Cosmo here with a real Magic On Demand update for the spring of 2021. So as we continue our voyage through Bobo with Curtis Cam, Rudy Tinoco returns with Apocalypse Now. Rudy obtained permission to use any content from the uh, legendary Harry Lorraine Apocalypse magazine. And we are currently in season three, or season four actually, season four of Apocalypse. Take a look at what Rudy has to say about Apocalypse Now. Hi everyone, it's me, Rudy Tinoco from the Magician's Forum, and I'm excited to announce season four of Real Magic Magazine's Apocalypse Now, where I will be teaching you 10 new effects out of the pages of Harry Lorraine's Apocalypse Magazine, including a fantastic little book test by Max Maven, a diabolical method that'll allow you to know who is holding a freely selected object in their hand. I'll be teaching you a fantastic way to palm off a card from the bottom of a deck. I'll also be teaching some incredible effects from magicians like Richard Vollmer, Doug Edwards, Tom Doherty, and I'll also include some interviews from some of the creators of the magic that I'll be teaching you, including Ori Ashkenazi, Zalman Pushkov, and of course, Harry Lorraine himself. I think you're really going to enjoy this. Now, a subscription to Real Magic Magazine is only five bucks. Now, if you were only getting Apocalypse Now, I think it'd be well worth your money, but of course, you get so much more. And so I'd encourage you to head over to realmagicmagazine.com and sign up now. Rudy's doing a fantastic job with this. And uh, currently, there are over 30 effects from the Apocalypse magazine on the site. We discovered in our vault an interview that we shot back in the summer of 2001, where John Rockerbomber interviews the great and legendary street magician Jim Cellini in Las Vegas. Here's a clip where Rockerbomber asked Cellini about what he learned from his teacher, the legendary Slidini. The first is grace. It was a beautiful thing about Slidini that I've never seen in another performer. I can't, you know, when he did that show in Hartford, those years, I remember we had great acts. In fact, I think Channing Pollock was one of them. Uh, and uh, when, when he came out on the stage, it floored me. He looks so different. His magic was so beautiful to see. It, the, it was like poetry. And that's what influenced me more than anything was that, you know, I wanted to move like that. I wanted to say, can I do that myself? Is it possible that I could learn that? This interview will be the feature interview in issue 54 of Real Magic. So another thing that's happening here at Real Magic is my good friend and I, who I would consider to be the greatest uh, sleight of hand magician in the world today, Garrett Thomas, is doing an Unleashed. Listen to what Garrett has to say about his Unleashed. Hello, hello. Garrett Thomas here. I'm excited to put together a little mini talk for Real Magic's On Demand Unleashed series. Here we're going to take a deep dive into a discussion, a little more off the cuff situation, where we're going to focus on my style of conversational magic with a focus on empathy, efficiency, emotion, and how to listen to your audience yet still control the conversation. Of course, we'll teach you a lot of different tricks along the way to illustrate these uh, ideas. So join me, Garrett Thomas, on Real Magic On Demand Unleashed. So there you have it. That's it for, uh, for the next couple months here at Real Magic. Lots of great stuff coming. Uh, we want you to know we're working hard every single day to make sure Real Magic remains the best value of magic today. Everybody be safe, peace, lots of love out there, lots of love, big hugs. I'll see you next time. Thanks.